everyone. Thank you for joining me around the fireside tonight. My name is Joe, and I'm here to tell you a story. Well, two stories tonight. Stories about the power inside you. Stories about mindfulness, about consideration, about kindness and meaning. Stories about the wonder of you. Proudly presenting the Powerful Me series, The Power in Me and The Power in Words, written by Megan Axel. These two books, complete with powerful concepts in rhyming form and delightful illustrations, are good additions to any library. You can find out more information and find extra activities on the author's website, meganaxel.com. These concepts, mindful speech and self-belief and care, can be really valuable for a child, especially in today's world, and the messages and themes within the books fit the channel perfectly. I really do hope you enjoy listening. If you'd like to hear more of this kind of thing, please let me know by leaving a comment, like or review, or subscribing to whatever platform you're listening on. We're also crowdfunding for the continued existence and expansion of the show. Should you wish to get involved, please check out gofundme.com slash tales by the fireside. Everything you do and every interaction you make really does mean the world. Now please, get comfortable, let go of the daylight and join me for our story. The Power in Words by Megan Axel. Your words hold great power, so use them with care. Don't let empty promises fly through the air. Don't promise your friends you'll be very discreet, and then blab all their secrets to those that you meet. When your words are set free, they will surely be heard and your friends will find out you went back on your word. So stay true to your word, always mean what you say. You will gain your friends' trust if you act in this way. Now, be careful with rumours, they're often untrue, and the damage they bring can be hard to undo. If you hear others gossiping, spreading false news, Give suggestions for other great topics to choose. You should use gentle language that doesn't cause harm. Use your words to be friendly and put on the charm. If we all put in effort to be a bit kinder, our actions will spread and become a reminder that our words have the power to make someone's day. We can lift others up with the words that we say. When a friend makes you feel like you're walking on air, take a moment to tell them just how much you care. If you see someone working from day until night, you should praise their hard work, make their spirit shine bright. When you compliment others, you'll surely feel great. So just think for a moment about their best trait. Then be sure that you tell them. Don't keep it inside. Go release all those compliments. Shout them with pride. Now the words that you use with yourself also matter. Be gentle. Don't put yourself down with your chatter. If you feel insecure and have negative thoughts, try to think of your strengths. Do not focus on faults. Your self-talk should speak proudly of all that you are. When accomplishing this, you'll feel like a star. What you think of yourself will turn into your fate, so try hard to have thoughts that will make you feel great. Use your words to affirm what your heart deeply knows, that your kind and your radiant beaming soul glows. One important last thing that we must not forget is that words written down 
might become a great threat. So be careful and thoughtful with words that you write, because not every thought in your head should take flight. So be sure that you use all your words with intention and, when in doubt, words of love are the best ones to mention. The power in me. My mind sometimes races. It goes and it goes. It runs this way and that way. Why, no one knows. I wonder, what if? How come? And why did I? I get dizzy watching my worries fly by. It might happen in bed when mum turns out the light. My thinking gets jumbled and my fears take flight. Or I'm playing with friends when out of nowhere, kaboom, my doubts and concerns are circling the room. So what do I do when my mind just won't quit? The answer is simple. I breathe and I sit. I settle right down, place my hands on my knees. I sit up real straight, close my eyes and I breathe. Inhale, one, two, three. I'm relaxed and I'm still. Exhale, three, two, one. No more worries, I'm chill. As I inhale, my breath fills up my chest. I slow down my thinking and let my mind rest. When I exhale, I notice my body feels light. A power within me begins to shine bright. As my breathing slows down, I feel more in control and my burdens and fears lose their grip on my soul. I focus and follow my breath as it flows. I feel more at peace from my head to my toes. My mind feels less scattered. I'm focused and clear. By guiding my thoughts, all my doubts disappear. The more that I practice, the easier it gets. I don't need to carry these woes and these frets. By breathing, I set them aside and feel peace. By observing, I find my calm and release. Days will pass quickly. There's so much to do. But my mind can move slower if I want it to. When my thoughts start to spiral and fill me with dread, I use my secret power to clear out my head. The power within me, it lives in you too. You can use it whenever your troubles find you. If your mind won't stop racing and your worries won't leave, if you're feeling quite anxious, find your power and breathe. You don't have to listen to your doubts any longer. Their voices are strong, but you are much stronger. The end. Good night.